Hey, boo boos, it's your girl, Kat Ravelski, back again on what I'm trying to do of a cat litter episode. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, it is literally um, good or bad content, whatever you want to call it. Like, share, subscribe to it anyway. Um, but honestly, I've been so busy, I totally forgotten to like post at all. So with that being said, boo boos, your girl has been house slash dog sitting, working eight different jobs. I just did like a content, um, UGC content for a really cute curl hair company. So my hair is like perfectly curled right now. I'm so excited. And um, spontaneously, I got a text from one of my besties about going to a show I've never seen live on the strip called, um, ah! so um, come with me as we have less than like 20, not even 10 minutes to get ready. Head over there, meet her at the theater and um, Go experience this amazing live show and um, I'll give you my review after, honestly, because you know, your girl can never lie. <laughs> your girl can never lie about um <clears throat> live theater, good or bad. So this should be fun. Let's get ready. Ah! Long story short, my friend Casey just literally texted me saying, You wanna see the show tonight? I have free tickets, and you know, she has sent me and everything. She works for it, so it's awesome. But like I don't have a lot of clothes, so I brought like a couple body cons and I'm gonna accessory with this jean outfit. Luckily for me, I don't take Avalon to get ready. I do very simple makeup, but I'm debating on which dress I want to wear. It's either this one, which is just a you know basic coral body con, or or the purple body con. Honestly, I think I'm digging the purple a little bit more than the coral, even though the coral showing more cleavage for the boys. It's okay, and then the denim to throw on top, just you know, make a little cash, a little pop. Oh, I don't like the high collar neck. Maybe I do want a low cut. Ugh, I told you this is the worst part about me getting ready is literally me deciding on my outfit. Makeup's gonna be quick. It's literally just the outfit. And denim, mm, it's kind of the same as the coral, but just, you know, a different color. Um, it's not horrible. Not my fave, though. Ugh! Totally switched it around. Totally forgot about this brown dress I have, which will go great with my tan heels. And I'm gonna wear the denim jacket because it will make it look relaxed. So then I just put a little bronze, but I'm horrible. I just put it on my face because. Puerto Rican, you can just blend it in really well. There we go. A little more touchy up and concealer and that little up nasty little zit on the corner there. Because that bad boy just wants to stand out like a hot tamale. Same like the one by the lip. It's okay. Um, you know that time of the month is about to happen. That's usually where my skin breaks out. And that's okay because I'm a woman. And that's just part of being a woman. One last coat. And then I'm just going to dab with a little bit of mascara. Again, ladies and gents, I am not a makeup guru, nor do I want to be. This is called, I do the most basic style of makeup and it works for me. And I have no problem with that. And if anyone else has a problem with that, well, that's your problem and not mine. Thanks. But it's really because, yeah, I'm just not in makeup like that. My face and I sweat a lot, so it's easier not to. Plus with being on set all the time, my skin breaks up to it all the time. So I'd rather keep it at a minimum as much as possible. I'm gonna call that a day. Where's my chapstick at? Because <laughs> I lost my lip gloss. But, oh, and of course, hoops. Hoops, 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 hoops. These hoops. Yeah, these cute, nice little biggie ones. Give me a little pop. And then we gotta grab the jean jacket, the heels. As you can tell, I was in a rush, but hey, look who made it. I'm with my girl, Casey. We're in the front row, and I'm not going to lie, look at these seats. Just a little update. This space is gorgeous. Oh, shit. Here we go. As you can tell, I got startled by the start of the show, but hey, Magic Mike comes out with a bang. No, no, really. They really know what they're doing. Not only are they great dancers and choreography, but their themes and the fact that they could do tricks, flips, and all this aerial stuff. I was really shocked, but even more shocked that they could actually perform. That man serenaded me. Uh, my friend Casey got that video, but it's all good. He serenaded me, smelled delicious. But these guys actually can sing, play guitar, piano, drums, and... The performance itself was really well done. I mean, the themes, the characters, these guys, no joke, they, they're a talented artist. And I was in awe of them all night from how they used the stage, the setup, and just how good they looked on, I'm just, mm. sorry, ladies, I couldn't have the audio, you know, just because, you know, YouTube, just for safety reasons, but hey. Um, totally worth it. Just imagine with the music and the sounds. Good morning, wonderful people. And so sorry, this is very next day post Magic Mike. Your girl came home real happy, but real tired. So post 
off of Magic Mike Live. For those of you that are like, oh, Magic Mike Live, like the movie, that's so corny and horrible. Honestly, I dug it. The choreography was really well done. They were in a round theater and they actually played all over. They had like these um, cats where they were flying across each, uh, like across the stage all over. So like even if you were on the top level, you would have got some action. And like I got serenaded multiple times and one that sang to me, my friend took a video of and I was like, God, I wish I saved that. It was amazing and actually was really well done and the funny story is i auditioned to be an mc host there and hopefully one day that opportunity will come again because i would love to be in that show it was phenomenal it was really really cool i'm not gonna lie guys if you ever in town and you want to see some fine men dance and actually know how to dance like legitly flips and tricks and then also look good but also smell amazing okay but it was also not too like raunchy it was very women empowering and really well done show like they danced there was musical themes they had really great music it was actually not what i expected i'm not gonna lie i thought it was gonna be real like cheesy and corny and just like the movie but this was actually a lot a lot better i like it more than the movie so if you're ever in town you gotta check out magic mike live honey because it was a show to not miss so shout out to my girl casey for taking me because it was amazing had a best time totally threw off my workout game this morning but it was worth it because your girl's going to work in a great mood thanks to those magic mike men eh. so again in town check it out and those of you checking out cat litter thank you so much and i'll be back again very soon for the next episode of cat litter